¿Qué quieres hacer cuando vengas? That's the voice of Alison Jimena Valencia Madrid. She's a six-year-old girl from El Salvador, and she was separated from her mother when she crossed the border into the United States last week. Jimena's calling her aunt and her cousin from an Arizona shelter. You might recognize her voice. It was on a secret audio recorded from inside a Border Patrol detention facility. I've come to Houston to learn more about Jimena and her family. The phone number she memorized led me to her aunt, who has become her lifeline and the key to reuniting this little girl with her mother. The aunt asked us not to show her face because she's fearful for herself and her daughter. They're both seeking asylum. Empezamos con la llamada. Contesto y evidentemente pues era una consul del Salvador. Mire qué niña tan inteligente me dice. Porque de todos los niños que están acá, me dice, fue la única que ella brindó información. Y toda nuestra mayoría de niños aquí, ninguno sabe este, nombres, no sabe mucho menos un número, me dice. Jimena was distraught after the separation from her mother. Y en primer instante la, la niña me dice, tía. Y comenzó, a, a, como he dicho muchas veces, a llorar, a gritar y a, a, a suplicar entre llantos y, 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 y lágrimas. Since that first phone call, Jimena has been moved to the shelter in Phoenix, while her mother is in a detention facility a thousand miles away in Port Isabel, Texas. Of all the Central American kids who've been separated from their parents, Jimena's lucky because she memorized that phone number that allows authorities to call her aunt. If any family stands a chance of being reunited, it's this one, because the locations of parent and child are known. Hola, buenas tardes. While I was there, Jimena's mother called from a detention facility. ¿En serio? Ay, gracias a Dios. Pero sí, le aseguraron que ya van a volver, volverla a usted con su hija. But the Trump administration has failed to provide any details on if and how it will reunify the families that have already been split up. ¿Te han dicho algo de tu mamá, eh? No. The mother and daughter still have not been permitted to talk on the phone. I'll be following Jimena and her family to see if they're able to reunite. But for many of the more than 2,300 other children who've been detained, there's no clear path for them to be returned to their parents. Es muy fuerte, es muy fuerte. Yo no me imagino la magnitud del daño que todos estos niños están sufriendo, el daño psicológico, el daño emocional.